everyone's joining. Today I'm going to be talking about fantasy books I would like to read in 2023. So in my last video I talked about um, specific books that I want to read in 2023, but I thought I'd do a, another list, but with specifically fantasy books. So I have some YA and adult fantasy books that I would like to prioritize next year, and I do want to try to read a lot of fancy since it's my favorite genre I'm, and plus I'm so but and especially some of the sequels I'm behind on so let's get to let's get to the books I want to read fancy books I would like to read in 2023. <laughs> so the first book that I would like to fancy book that I would like to read in 2023 is this Silver Serpent Silver Serpents by Rajani Chachki which is the sequel to The Guild of Wolves which is about um, a group of teenagers who are on a hunt for um, a, a magical artifact that's from what I remember from reading the first book and I would like to continue on with the series and I'm just would like to prioritize that in 2023 and, and especially when I want to catch up on a lot of sequels I'm behind on. So the next book that I would like to prioritize in uh, next fantasy book that I would like to prioritize in 2023 is um, Great Thorn by Crystal Smith. This is the sequel to um, Bloodleaf which is about a girl who is a princess who, of She's from a, a royal family who are rich uh, witches, and she's trying to um, escape from that. So she runs away and become disguise herself as a a commoner. So that's basically the whole story. I really enjoyed it as well, and I want to continue on with the series because I know the trilogy was completed, and I just want to catch up on the on the series. And yeah, another se fantasy sequel that I like to prioritize in twenty twenty three. So the next book that I would like to, fancy book that I would like to prioritize in 2023 is King of Fools by Amanda Foody. This is the sequel to Ace of Shades. It's basically a fantasy world where it's a casino. That's all I remember from reading it a few years ago. And I just definitely want to continue on with that series as well. And I will probably will try reading it physically because I didn't enjoy the Aya book like I did with her previous book. But I'm... Still would like to continue on with the series as well. So the next fantasy book that I would like to prioritize in 2023 is All the Fates of Tides by um, Adeline Grace. This is the sequel to the All the Stars and Teeth, which is about a girl who's got some kind of power and she uh, wants to prove herself to be a good ruler. So she teams up with a pirate and then they go on a jury together. That's from what I remember from... Rena, I really enjoyed the first book so much that I wanted to continue on the series. And it's only a duology, so of course I want to read that. And I know she just came out with a new book as well that I think it's a fancy, but and don't quote me on that. But I just want to finish off this trilogy since I enjoyed the first book so much. So the next fantasy book that I would like to prioritize in 2023 is Spinning Silver by Noemi Novak. This is a Rebel Stiltskin retelling for what I remember. I know I've read Uprooted by her and I really enjoyed that, so I want to read her next book, which is so, so, Spinning Silver. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. But I've been enjoying her, the book that I just mentioned, and I want to read more books by her. Hopefully I'll enjoy this one. I know she just came out. She had a new, a new book series, um, Deadly Education, I think that's what it's called. And I just would like to um, read that as well. So, yeah, I definitely would like to uh, prioritize that for that reason. And the next fantasy book that I like to prioritize in 2023 is Circe by um, Madeline Miller. I know she's been, no she's this book and her other books were very popular on BookTube. And I know this is basically about Circe and that's... All I know about it and and I like Greek mythology so I like so hopefully I'll enjoy that and maybe I'll read her other book The Song of Achilles when I'm done with this if I enjoy it who knows but I do like a good um, Greek mythology story. And the next fantasy book I would like to prioritize in 2023 is Red Sister by Mark uh, Lawrence. This is basically about a world who um, are assassins that are trained to be or nuns are trained to be assassins. That's all I know about it. And I, I've heard, I haven't heard many people talk about it in book two, but I know that Cody from Cody's Book Corner um, loves this series, and that's why I want to give it a try. And I think Becca and the books also 
enjoy the series. I am not quite sure, but I know that Koei Ka from Koei's Book Corner really enjoys it, so I definitely want to give this uh, book a try. And the next book that I would like, or fancy book that I would like to prioritize in 2023 is The Lies of Luck. Lockwell Mora by Scott Lynch. All I know about this book is a um, adult fantasy about a crime cape. Bernie's like well known for that and with a fancy um, twist. That's all I know about it. I haven't heard many people talk about him book too, but I do want, like to give this a try even though it's very thick. I don't know how long this book is to be honest with you. Oh, over 700 pages. And I honestly would like to get a like a bigger size edition of this because I really don't like uh, mass uh, market paperback books, especially with fantasy books. So hopefully I'll end up enjoying this so I can get the uh, bigger um, paperback copy of this. <laughs> so the ne next fantasy book that I would like to prioritize is Full Lady's Fortune by um, Chloe Gong. This is from a uh, same author as these Violent Delights. As far as I know about this book and I think it's a retelling of As You Like It which I have not read before but you also follow um, some of the characters from These Violent Delights um, Rosalind that's who you follow so I'm really curious about him plus I love the These Violent Delights duology so I just would like to read more from her I just love her, um, the world that she created and the characters that she created so yeah this is definitely would be my top priority a fantasy book that I would like to put as top priority for 2023. <laughs> and the last book that I will, fantasy book that I would like to prioritize in 2023 is Amber in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. This is a very popular um, YA fantasy series and I feel like I'm a, one of the last people to try this out. And all I know about it is about this girl who's trying to rescue her um, brother from the Empire, I think. But now um, she teams up with a, um, a soldier that's all I know about it, like I said, this is a popular YA book series, and I haven't. I feel like I'm one of the last people to read it. So yeah, I do want to like to uh, prioritize as much as possible because I feel like I'm the last person to end up reading this series on book two. <laughs> so that's all the books that I would like to try to read in 2023. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you love fancy. What are some of the fancy books that you would like to prioritize for the next year? If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know if I post new, new videos. <laughs> also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!